hear about. So what's in the Innovation Institute? First, there'll be the Institute of Design, which will occupy about 40% of the space. The Idea Shop. We will have other academic uh, activities in there, like iPros. But also, very importantly, we will have practitioners and residents from industry or business in Chicago that will work with the students and faculty to develop entrepreneurial processes and develop innovative, innovative thinking. They all had a compassion for the neighborhood, for the community. And they've all been, always been eager to include STEM opportunities, STEM orientation, STEM qualification to students, young students, young students from the neighborhood who were it not for them would have passed by this place and it would have been a strange building. But IIT has opened this door. I'm just, in my own sense, in my own special way, just proud to be here this evening to witness yet another step in the right direction and to say thank you to this university, to IIT, for not only being in the forefront of receiving federal dollars, but also being in the forefront of utilizing those federal dollars to help create a great nation and to include this local community in your endeavors. Thank you very much. There always has been something in IIT's DNA that makes its students hardwired to be innovative and entrepreneurial. And we want to do all we can to attract more students who will become part of the city's tech ecosystem and, and leaders of tomorrow's global economy. We also want to keep that talent here in Chicago. And I know that the Kaplan Institute will be a magnet for uh, those who ask what's next for Chicago and believe that our, as the, as the video said, that our best days are ahead of us. One of the On behalf of the student body, we are grateful to Mr. Kaplan and his wife Carol for their generous challenge gift of $10 million to fund the Institute on top of the $1 million they've already donated. Uh, this, today is not the start of innovation in Chicago. And it's definitely not the start of innovation on IIT's campus. But it's the start of the conversation. Because the programming firm is Shepley Bullfinch. For the selection of design architects, we tapped John Ronan Architects. But it's what goes on in the building that will be as beautiful as I'm sure the architect and the design and the engineering of the building. And literally, when you look at it, the vehicle up here, you look at what the kids were designing on their computers, the products they had shown you. The city of Chicago has a tremendously rich history. We're celebrating 177 years. We have a rich history, which IIT is a major part of. It's a rich history, but with this innovation center, it will have a brighter future. And it's built on the shoulders where the city known as the city of big shoulders. This innovation center will be built not only on big shoulders, but will make them even broader the future because of what's coming uh, forward. The way you grow an economy to make sure that everybody, whether they're from Englewood or Madrid or from Mo uh, Mexico City, will flock to the city of Chicago. This is where ideas, this is where jobs, this is where patents, this is where the next company, the next innovations come, the next ideas of tomorrow. And that is how we build the city of big shoulders for the next generation to make sure that the people and the kids that come behind us have a city worthy of inheriting. But I am very excited about this project, excited about what it's going to do for IIT, excited about what it's going to do for the community of Bronzeville, but most excited, if I must be clear, what it's going to do for the city of Chicago and the future of creating Chicago as the epicenter of innovation. Congratulations.